Hey, welcome, and thanks for checking out my video. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Mindset, the New Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck, uh, where she explores the concepts of a fixed mindset and growth mindset. In this book, uh, Dweck explains how individuals with a fixed mindset believe that abilities are innate and unchangeable, while those with a growth mindset see abilities as malleable and with effort and learning can be developed. The book delves into how these mindsets shape success in various aspects of life, from relationships to, academic, to academics to business, and offers guidance on how to develop a growth mindset to unlock potential. This is definitely something that I consider um, in a lot of aspects of, of my own life and with my artistic development. And, you know, oftentimes, I, if I reflect, I, I have to admit I've forgotten about it quite a bit as well. But it's really important to remember. And, you know, throughout the book, uh, there are some big ideas that are offered up. Uh, the first of which is that our own belief about our intelligence and our abilities can have the most profound impact on our success and happiness in life. There's some supporting ideas around this, mainly uh, that our starting point is not the ultimate arbiter of where and how we finish with whatever aspect of life that we're considering. And also, among other ideas that support the main point, um, one that is uh, kind of captivating is that success in nearly every endeavor comes from one's ability to learn and adapt. Learning and adapting requires sustained effort and openness to the lessons available in each failure along the way. And, uh, you know, throughout the book, it's good to note that it's well organized. Uh, there are roughly uh, 10 chapters, let's call it. And in chapter one, we're introduced to the concept of mindsets, the fixed versus the growth mindset. Fix how fixed mindset individuals believe abilities are innate, while growth mindset individuals believe abilities can be developed. Chapter two, we take a little bit of a deeper dive into the different mindsets and how they affect individuals in everyday life, relationships, work, and personal growth. Chapter three, we're introduced to the truth about ability and accomplishments, and that's where we uh, see the author's insights into how mindsets will shape our view of effort, challenges, and setbacks, and also emphasize the power of a growth mindset in achieving long-term success. <clears throat> Chapter four, kind of look at this concept through the framework of sports and uh, how there are an, almost an infinite number of examples of people who maybe started <clears throat> with a little bit of a setback or maybe we're behind colleagues and teammates uh, and competitors and we're able to overcome those challenges. Chapter five delves into how these mindsets can be uh, impactful within the business world. Chapter six sums up how uh, mindset can be really important amongst relationships that we have. Chapter seven kind of brings uh, these perspectives within the realm of parents, teachers, and coaches, and those that are tasked with mentoring people. Chapter eight discusses the potential in changing mindsets. So the ability to adapt if you perhaps maybe had some pre-programming as a fixed mindset type perspective on things, you can adapt and open yourself up to the more advantageous growth mindset. In chapter nine, we talk about the journey to a growth mindset, and there's some personal stories of individuals who have shifted over time. In chapter 10, discusses how to cultivate a growth mindset within a company or an organization and the individuals that make up that organization. So there are some incredibly memorable quotes that uh, are presented along the way. And uh, some of those that jump out at me include just a handful here. This is something, uh, starting with a quote, this is something I know for a fact, and this is in the author's voice. You have to work hardest for the things you love most. Another interesting quote, I don't mind losing as long as I see improvement or I feel I've done as well as I possibly could. Another quote uh, directly from the author, if parents want to give their children a gift 
of the best thing the best thing they can do is to teach their children to love challenge be intrigued by mistakes enjoy effort and keep learning that way their children don't have to be slaves of praise they will have a lifelong way to build and repair their own confidence and then finally uh open quote it is not always the people who start out the smartest who end up the smartest period end quote and then uh, you know beyond this it's important to note maybe in summary that uh, this book mindset really encourages readers to embrace a growth mindset emphasizing that our beliefs about our abilities and our own intelligence can significantly impact perhaps maybe have the most meaningful impact on our success and happiness in life so definitely would recommend this um, you know, from the standpoint of uh, somebody who's trying to improve their own painting and other aspects of their lives, this book is invaluable. I've read it a couple times, and um, there's always new insights that seem to pop out uh, every time I take the time to you know, dive in and take the adventure through this book. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope you found this useful. And I would encourage you to check out some of my other book summaries on my channel. And uh, hope you stay well and hope to see you again next time.